<laughs> Hi folks, that's the old pro Dylan and the new pup Dina out playing in the yard. Hi folks, I'm Paul Fuller, host of Bird Dogs Afield. Dylan, Dina, and I all want to welcome you to the 2011 season of Bird Dogs Afield TV. We've got a lot of great episodes coming up this year. You're going to have a lot of fun watching. You're going to learn a lot. Welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. We look forward to you joining us throughout the year. Thank you very much. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for canine athletes, and brought to you in part by Irish Setter by Red Wing Legendary Performance, bred for sport and available at L.L. Bean, Orvis, Ugly Dog Hunting, or your favorite Irish Setter dealer. RST, manufacturers of short chamber low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment. Okay. Yeah. Well. Hi folks, what a treat we have for you today. We're going to visit the Dean of Pointing Dog Trainers in the Northeast, Bob Pocheck from Maine. Bob is 83 years old. He's been training uh, Pointing Dogs since right after World War II. He's trained a lot of wonderful, great dogs. This is Bob Pocheck, uncensored. This is the way he sees it. You're going to enjoy this program. We're both going to learn. Have fun. Friends, the formula for a good working dog, three factors. Good breeding, good training, good feeding. When it comes to feeding, you want to feed native performance dog food. It's the best food on the market today. Comes in four levels to meet the activity and stress level of your dog. Go to nativedogfood.com. Find the dealer nearest you. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy you did, and so will you. <laughs> Folks, we're fortunate to, to be today with the, the dean, the absolute dean of bird dog training in the Northeast, Bob Pocheck. Bob, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. Glad to meet you, too. Good, all right. Uh, Bob, I know you've been at this an awful long time. Uh, now, you've, you've worked field trials. You've trained for private people. You've done it all, haven't you? Pretty much, uh, mostly training for hunting dogs, walking, yeah. shooting dogs, yeah. and uh, I campaigned a few of my own dogs, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, maybe a derby for a customer, Sure. but uh, as of now, I can't hear good enough to campaign, so <laughs> I've stuck with the old bird dog training well, for, for hunters. Yeah, wonderful, and uh, Probably primarily grouse and woodcock, but your dogs would be versatile. They could go anywhere, couldn't they? They, they certainly could. Yeah. I yeah. think any dog can if he has <clears throat> has a chance. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, Bob, I've often wondered, uh, when you've got a young dog, say a pup, and uh, you want to work at it, is there, is there such a thing as putting in a too many birds, too much scent? Uh, there certainly is, in my opinion. If a dog, if a dog knows that <clears throat> they scent there every day, he's going to start non-productive, non-productive, and that is a serious situation. You don't have to put yourself in. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these problems with bird dogs are man-made, especially on pen-raised birds. Uh huh. And as soon as you learn that, the better it is going to be. Uh, wild birds, the bird takes care of itself. Everything works kind of normal. But we don't have enough wild birds with the amount of dogs we have to train on them. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to train a bunch of dogs, you have to use pen-raised birds, and you've got to be careful you don't get into these pitfalls with overdoing it. Everything with moderation. Sure, that makes sense. <clears throat> How about the e-collar? Do you use the e-collar? Oh, certainly. Anyone that don't use the e-collar... <laughs> Got a magic way or something. <laughs> Dog whisperer or somebody. <laughs> I understand. It's, uh, it's probably, 
you know, in the last 50 years, is, is, it's probably the only true innovation in training, right? I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of changes. Not at all, no. Uh, the electronic spring traps, we used to make them out of the screen door springs and kick the, yeah, the string, yeah. you right. know. Yeah. And it all worked pretty good. Sure, sure. But any artificial stuff is a gamble. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you have to do it nowadays. But uh, I understand. Good. Can we go look at some dogs? Well, I certainly can. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's go in the field. We'll do it. All right. Folks, I have two very good friends on this trip. Uh, Calvin Robinson, who is introducing me to Bob Pocheck. And uh, Calvin is a well-known trainer in his own right and also Stu Bristol, a very well-known outdoor writer in New England, and Stu's helping out uh, on the camera a little bit, but uh, you're gonna see both of these gentlemen in this video. Go ahead. Okay, hop in. See that Riley dog? He yeah, just... I like him. Keep chopping. Yeah, I like that short, choppy gait like that. My uh, my dog uh, in the woods. You never have to. I never run a collar on him or anything. I, she just checks to me, checks to me. Right now, she's trying to stay ahead of this other dog. She she don't like competition to be ahead of her. Uh -huh. I brought Peter down here with his dog that yeah. he got from Kilgany. Yeah. We put out three birds. Class, he had the three of them. <laughs> How was that dog to Peter? Pretty nice dog. Yeah. Yeah. Careful now, birds in here. Right here. Have you had a litter out of um, Classy? No. Joe Movell's got a dog. No, uh, the LU, uh, hard in LU. Yeah. I'm going to look at that pretty close. I can hunt her all day and never say anything to her. Calvin, is there anything more beautiful than than a dog like that? Anything more beautiful? Backing. She's she back and she's honoring. She's him and he's now he thinks that yeah, we got a, a double back, a back off. double situation here. I don't uh, think he was I think he just got through taking a crap. He was, yeah. and now he thinks he's back in her. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. See how that dog runs with a high head call, high lean height. See how see how oh, yeah. always up. Oh yeah. That's, oh yeah. To me, that's a that's a key in, in any yeah. dog. I want yeah. a dog run just like that. Yeah. She runs over the ground easy. She's yeah. looking around at everything, you know. Well, p pointing scent is in the air. Yeah. It's not on the ground. Yeah. That's why short hairs don't do so good unless yeah. they're half po two thirds pointer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a short hair guy, you know. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not knocking them, but I mean, oh, I they are ground sniffers, yeah. ant eaters. I know. I hate it when they, you know, the real purebred. I talked to there was a, a trainer by the name of Alan Ladd. Do you know him? No, I don't. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I sure. talked to him the first year I got Dylan. And he said, he says, oh, he'll, he'll make a nice hunting dog for you, but he Alan said. Alan started out with, with short hair. Oh, did he? Remember Paul? Remember Bob? His first dog was a big it, old short hair. It was. I didn't remember that. Yeah. I know Movell had that spike short hair. Yeah, yeah. All those guys started with that. <laughs> yeah. In fact, what's his name? Ralph had a short hair he won a championship yep. with. Remember well, that? Well, he sold that for big money, yeah. <laughs> he, uh. Alan said, I, I won't say anything bad against the short hairs, but he said, God, he says, they just don't run with their head high enough. He says, their head's always down. And also, and they, and what happens is they start making game and they start ground sniffing okay. and walk their right. game right up before they yeah. can point because they get yeah. interested in tracking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Paul, can we stop right here a second? Sure can. She's out of um, horseback dogs. Um, you know, when I was breeding dogs, I never cared if the dog was all horseback or an all age. I wanted a dog that ran right. nice and point. I don't care what his range was. Right, you know? right. Riley, come yeah, in here. All, Riley. The range is all. Oh, horse. good boy. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Riley, here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, I'll give him a drink. 
Come here. <clears throat> you know, the, she's got a bad habit. She won't drink out of the puddle. She runs around every puddle. She's scared to death of water. We threw her in the Saco River when she was little. Come here. Class. Here. Get a drink. Get a drink. Go get them. Go find them. Now is that, a, is, is that out of Doherty's Applejack dog or is that out of Why Not Ace, that dog? Why Not Ace. Uh, so, Bob, I've got a question for you. I'm going to put you on the spot here. For, for grouse and woodcock, do you have a favorite breed? <clears throat> I do. Uh, <clears throat> simple because uh, I've always had a pointer yep. when I was young. Yep. Started with them. But it's just like Fords and Chevrolets. Yeah. One swears by one, the other swears by the right. other. You're right. I will say years ago that pointers always started quicker than setters. Yeah. But nowadays setters are coming just as fast as pointers do now. Yeah. yeah. But years ago, uh, a pointer would be pointing when he's a little and a setter would kind of hang back. And they always thought it would be a two-year dog. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Those days are gone. Yep. Well, <clears throat> I'll tell you, watching, you've got a pointer and a setter down here, and, and they're both beautifully working dogs. They just uh, really look good, that's that's for sure. Now, Bob, tell me, uh, how many years now have you been, how many years now have you been doing this? <laughs> I started for uh, Arthur Stackpole when I was young, 16, in 1945. In 45? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Huh. And uh, I trained for him, with him for two years. He got me a job down in Massachusetts uh, for uh, <clears throat> uh, on a big estate down there that uh, Brewer, H.D. Brewer uh -huh. in Shrewsbury, Mass. Uh -huh. And he had a big racing stable, which he quit racing horses, so we made it into a kennel. I see. In my job, the only thing I had to do was handle dogs in the woods. Arthur Stackpole fed them and took yeah. care of them. Yeah. <clears throat> and back then, if he got busy, you know, people that like that have sure. to work. Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He'd yeah. send the chauffeur, <laughs> pick me up, and I uh, used the first man to. Have a gun, we'll travel. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'd go out and shoot my limit yeah. and the chauffeur's limit. Uh huh. And he used to tell me, uh, now if you run into a good cover, don't shoot it hard. Just get out of there because I'm going to hunt Thursday. <laughs> and I says, okay. All right. And then the chauffeur, Henry, his name was, we'd go out someday and he said, well, get this over with quick. He said, <laughs> go out and Get these birds and we'll take off the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take a real short break for our sponsors. We'll be right back. Hi friends, the new RST number 10 shot for Woodcock. Try it this fall, you're gonna love it. Friends, don't cheat your feet this fall when hunting. Your feet carry you around, you need good feet, and to have good feet you need good boots. Irish Setter makes the best upland bird hunting boot. This is the DSS Upland boot. It's just a fantastic boot, well made. You're gonna really love it. Also new is the King Toe. I wear the King Toe, I enjoy the extra room. There's 30% more room in the toe. I enjoy that. Whichever boot you choose, you'll love the Irish Setter. Try them, buy them today. Thanks. Now, uh, are you still active in field trials at all? Do you judge? <clears throat> I judge a little. Yeah. Not much because my hearing's not good. Oh, I see. Okay. And I, that's why I can't campaign anymore. Yeah. They want these dogs out on the edge, yep. beyond where anybody can see them make any mistakes. You've got to hear the bell. and yeah, You've got to know where your dog is. Exactly where your dog is yeah. when he stops. Yeah, yeah. I'm so uh, yeah. <clears throat> I've yeah. quit tra field trialing. I never did do it like, uh, like you know, some of these full-time guys, like <clears throat> uh, Dave, Dave Hughes, uh, Dave Hughes yeah. and uh, yeah. and the brothers there. Uh, 
what's his name? Oh, from upstate New York? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, Malay, yeah, Malay right. yeah. those guys. Yeah. They're real field trialers. Right. Yeah. They go from one, that's all, they, I don't even think they get a chance to hunt. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, <clears throat> I always used to do my own dogs in yeah. field dogs. Yeah. And back then we only had the North American to run. Sure. Yeah. Now, yeah. now we got all. You can go to a championship every week if you want. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> we only had that one shot. And we didn't have money enough to go to Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We had dog enough back when we had Happy Hunter and Blackfield Ben yeah. and my Zeke, Pouchik's Happy Zeke. <clears throat> we could run against any of those dogs at, at that time, but you got to have yeah, money. Yeah. Sure. Now, did you ever run into Paul Long? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Paul was from, wasn't Paul he from Massachusetts? Was Massachusetts, and yeah. he he down with uh, Mike Seminator in that area, right. you know. Yeah. 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 And he was a quite a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, I knew him. He was a little older than I was. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. well, you've had quite a career, Bob. You know, I, <laughs> I've done. I've trained dogs my whole life, but I've done a million other jobs to keep <laughs> so I could do this. <laughs> well, Lloyd says you're the best. Yeah, Lloyd Murray well, uh, from up in Stark, New yeah, Hampshire says you're the best. Yeah. yeah. Lloyd, uh, yeah. I go up with the Lloyd about once a year Yeah. and train with Dave and yeah. and those fellas, you well, know. I'll be up there this year, probably in, uh, in July or August, right. I'll go up, yeah. Yeah, That's they good. got some good birds good. up there. And back when we were in Liberty, we walked right from the house and find birds. Is that right? When we moved down here, which I think was around 59 or 60 in that area, my father moved down here, their place was loaded with birds. We had a cover in Dayton on the Saco River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We split it up to half hour that way and a half hour this way. We'd bet with each other who'd have the most birds, 28, 30, 31 <laughs> a piece on a, right on the river. Now, all houses, nothing yeah, but a little right. big lawn. Yeah. And, then, and then you could train your dogs on wild birds. I mean, that's, you had plenty of wild we birds. We always train. trained on yeah, wild birds in the, Liberty yeah. and right. down here when we yeah. first come. Yeah. And that's what happened. <clears throat> My father died and I took over and kept training, but... I found out if I was going to train the, num the number of dogs you have to train now, you have to have pen raised birds and get them right. started yeah. because you waste so much time yeah. in the woods trying to get your dog to point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But in Parker Savage, do you remember him? I remember Up the in name. Stratton. Yes. Sure. The name. He yeah. was a hell of a nice trainer, but he never could adapt to the pen raised birds. Yeah. Yeah. Never. And, uh, uh, and you had to do that to be successful after, especially after to, World War II. Yeah, yeah to yeah, take so yeah. many dogs and train a started dog in right. three months yeah. and uh, have them mined right. and yeah. be yeah. pretty well broke. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go look at the dogs. Okay. I think that's too Folks, we're visiting with Bob Pocheck and uh, getting some great information here on his dogs. But a special treat is meeting with his daughter, Kelly Short. She's well known in her own right in this field. Kelly, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. Thank you. Nice to be here. Wonderful. So tell me a little bit about your career. How many years have you been working with dogs? Oh, a long time, since I was about 16. Oh, so about I'm not going to give you my age. Okay, about, about 16. All right. Well, 35 years, let's say. Now, <laughs> did I hear that you've won the, uh, the the Grand National Grouse Championship? Yes, I did. You with, did. with Tommy Knocker. You did. Yeah. Wonderful. Good. In 95. In 1995. Yep. And that's a setter, of course. That's, of course. <laughs> All right, good. Well, very good. Now, do you still campaign in the trials? Yes, I do. I have offspring of Tommy's. I'm running a young dog right now named True Patriot. He's not out of my breeding, but he's a phenomenal little dog, and I've won all over the country with him. Um, he's just exceptional. I have two young dogs coming out of my breeding program that are doing very well that I'm pretty excited about. Good. So, Wonderful. Yeah, I'm running every day, every year. All yeah. right. Good. 
Well, wonderful. So nice to speak yeah. with you. Nice to see and, you. And good luck on the trial Thank of you. Uh, circuit. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Thanks. I like, I like the way this dog goes. I, I, this is the first time I've seen her, this bitch dog. I like her. Come on. Get going. Let me get her classic in here. Oh, is she pointing up there? Uh, no, I don't think so. How long, was, how long are you going to keep her there? Huh? How long are you going to keep her there? As long as you need to. I'm going to run back and get a still camera. Go ahead. Are those flowers right there? Yeah, oh, I got my camera here. Cool. Classic's on point on the other bird, Paul. Oh. Aren't these little cameras the best, Bob? What, what kind of camera is that? I, little digital camera, it's a Canon, it does a great job. I, oh, I need to buy one. Oh, yeah. About 150 bucks. Is yeah. I can't, I don't want to do this angle because of her ear. Oh, here, want me to flip her ear back? I can flip her huh? ear back. I can flip her ear back. Will she stay? Of course. <laughs> Taylor Shutter, you're dealing with this. Stroke her tail up a little bit while you're there. <laughs> I can make it come up. <laughs> oh, that's oh, huh? can't get any better than that. Can't get any better than that right there. Go go stand by her so I get a picture of you and her. Mm -hmm. Stand by her so I can get a picture of you in her. That'd be good, Bob. Real good. Which way is that bird going to fly? Uh, he'll, he'll fl I got him set up to go this way. Fantastic. That's good stuff there. That's good stuff. <laughs> I mean, really good stuff. Okay. I don't think there's anything more beautiful, Bob, than that, what we just were looking at. I know. I mean, it's just... Everyone's the same. I know. I mean, it, it, it might be the same, but it ain't. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, yeah, she's standing up pretty good right there. Oh, yeah. You can move up onto her if you want to. I'm going to walk. Oh. Oh. Classy, heel. Come on, Molly. Molly, come. Heel. Come on. Bob, awful good dog work there. Here's a nice one right here. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, here. Yeah. I think I was 19, I went to a field trial. Serene comes blowing into the field trial. Remember that dog, Mr. Motion? Oh, yeah. Mr. Motion comes in and points that, just like your dogs. Yeah. I never saw anything like it. I, uh. I was hooked then, <laughs> and I still am. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Motion. Yeah. You remember him? Yeah, I do. I forget. I think he was out of Harry Townsend's dog then. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that program. In the introduction, I said this is Bob Pocheck Uncensored, and that's exactly what it is, and that's what we wanted. And, uh, and Bob, I still love my short hairs. I know they may not be the greatest dog in your eyes. I love mine, and I also love your setters and pointers. I love all pointing dogs. Hope you enjoyed the program. We'll see you next time around. Bird Dogs Afield. Presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Irish Setter Legendary Boots, RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, and On Point Kennel.